What were the symptoms that led to you being diagnosed? I think my earliest memory of any kind of lupus related symptoms would have been um, having issues with my hands and not being able to use them properly. I wasn't able to type, wasn't able to write, um, and the doctors kept telling me that it would be, um, that it was RSI, but I knew there was something more going on. I was first diagnosed in 2009. <clears throat> my symptoms were very severe joint pains. I couldn't walk up the stairs. Mm. I struggled to play football. I couldn't do any of the things that I liked doing. I was about 17 when I started to experience symptoms of lupus, which was very young to be experiencing something as chronic as the fatigue that I was feeling. What was your experience of um, getting the diagnosis? How difficult was it? I think I'd had symptoms of lupus for a long time before I was diagnosed. Getting a diagnosis was really difficult. The symptoms got worse and less and less answers happened as I went on. And it did eventually lead to a point where a GP told me to start thinking outside the box and if actually I was suffering from mental illness and not actually experiencing physical pain. So Kiri, what was your experience of getting a diagnosis? It didn't take that long for me to be diagnosed. I went to the doctors and I told them my symptoms and they prescribed me some anti-inflammatories and they said after taking this the joint pain should get better but unfortunately they didn't and I'd done a blood test and I gave it a urine sample and a couple of weeks later I got the call to say that it was lupus. I think my first symptom um, probably started in about 2008 and I was diagnosed in 2018. No one was taking me seriously and I remember that um, what led to my diagnosis was actually having going into A&E one time. I remember waking up, waking up in the morning feeling, you said about the burning sensation, feeling like my scalp was on fire and I said there's something, something really wrong with me, please believe me, please take me seriously. What I find astounding is that there's three people yeah. talking about this right now and we all have incredibly similar stories about yeah. our diagnosis and how difficult it was to be mm -hmm. diagnosed with lupus yeah. and how difficult it was to be heard. How did you feel about your lupus diagnosis? A relief initially because you have finally been given answers to the big mystery of what is going on. Mm -hmm. It wasn't all relief though, it did come with a sense of guilt and a sense of mourning for the person that I was before becoming chronically ill. I had no idea what lupus was, me or my family, we had never heard of it, no one in my family had ever had lupus, so at first very scared, um, very surprised and me personally I was thinking to myself, what's this going to mean for my future, how's it going to affect me going forward? Once you got the diagnosis, what helped? Um, I'm going to say, firstly, I'm going to say my family. They were very, very supportive to me. They, you know, they reassured me everything's going to be okay. They're here for me. I found the Lupus UK website really helpful for resources, for specifically talking to employers or new people to help them understand my condition. Social media was really important to me because it created a network outside of my family. Um, people that I could rely on that would support me, that would um, talk to me, that I could vent to, um, people that gave me information that I wasn't, you know, that wasn't readily available elsewhere. As the years have gone by, I've definitely learned that lupus is only part of my story and I've gone into online content creation. The future is bright with things like gaming, building communities, making new friends and meeting new people. I've been able to go to um, go and do talks about my journey with lupus and you know maybe inspire and help people that have been newly diagnosed. There was a time when I thought I wasn't going to be able to walk properly again so I'm walking, I'm talking, I'm able to read again, I've written a book and I'm fostering again so for me you know things are looking bright. Mm -hmm.